Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. TJHD here back with another one of the most waited for video on my channel. I've been waiting for this YouTube update for quite a long time. If you use YouTube a lot, you would know something about annotations on YouTube, which is basically our way of communicating with the viewers when they're watching our videos, where we can get them to respond to a point of call or watch our next video that we really want you to. This feature was only available on PC or laptops. And guess what? Those are actually clickable across all platforms from PC to mobile devices as well. Once you have uploaded your video, go to this end screen and annotation option. Let me actually give you a quick overview of what it is. Annotations basically work the same way as they used to before where you have your video in the clip already and you simply spotlight that entire area of the screen and you actually attach a link to that screen area and once someone clicks on it, it'll work. Let's talk about end screen. End screen is the new feature that YouTube has just announced for all of us. It was there for all the big YouTubers, but now it's available for all the regular YouTubers as well. It's basically annotations which cover at least 20 seconds of your video so whenever you have to put the end screen you have to make sure that you have 20 seconds of your footage extra available to be used by this feature now for this feature you actually have a couple of options for one you can either import a video that you already have just a quick side note on this the only videos that i could find are ones that already have this end screen feature applied on it it could be updated for later versions, but for now, we can only use the videos that already have end screen applied on them. Now, the second option is to use some of the templates that YouTube has already made for all of us, where you have three different kind of options available for you. Number one is just one video and one subscription button. Number two is one video, one link, and one subscription button. Now, that link is only for those websites that are actually connected to your YouTube account. No other websites are allowed. Number three is two videos and a subscription subscription button. All of these are at different locations on your screen. You can edit them and delete them whenever you want. Some information about those videos, there are three more options available. Number one is you choose your video or the playlist that you want people to click on. Number two is you let YouTube decide which is the related video on your channel to the video that they're actually watching and let them click on it. Number three is you set the latest video to be your default for that section. Once you're done editing, those videos are actually clickable across all platforms from PC to mobile devices as well. This is all I have for you awesome people today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please spam that like button. Let's see if we can get to 500 likes for this video. Drop a comment down below about what you have to say about this and subscribe to stay tuned for more awesome videos like this. And actually, whatever you do, don't forget to smile and pass it on to others as well. Until then, this is TJHD signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.